is a video about how to join wider boards on a rigid joiner. Uh, it's JPO 6101. Um, I, I thought I was doing it right, but uh, I was running into a little problem. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's wedge shaped. And then I figured out the problem was that the uh, this little ledge for rabbiting is actually attached to the infeed table. So um, uh, basically, it was just tilting up this edge of the board every time it went through and creating a wedge shape. So uh, what I did was really simple. Uh, just took a piece of uh, MDF and cut it to six and an eighth inch and the length of the infeed table put a little stop on it and uh, then uh, uh, it, it, it uh, then the, uh, the infeed table is down low enough that the uncut portion doesn't tip up the edge so uh, uh, that produced um, somewhat better results than uh, than I than I had initially. Um, so that's basically it. And then you can you can take this same uh, this same uh, just you know spacer, take it over to your planer and just uh, just put the the flattened part of the board on top of that and you can plane you can plane the the uh, un, untouched side parallel to the flattened part and again it's going to hang over the the, the the there's going it's going to hang over the edge here so it'll be flat then you can flip it and uh, flatten the flatten the the uh, excess part off. So uh, I hope this is clear enough. Anyway, um, yeah, I just was, uh, 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 hadn't done this before and I hadn't seen this exact um, problem on YouTube uh, and I haven't seen this solution to it. People talk about taking off the, even with ones that can remove the um, rabbiting ledge, people talk about taking that off but you could also just do this.